I got the somebody on the tail. I don't enjoy it. The mamas of me, the balls are not ready. <laughs> Deploy the, uh, the pasta sauce. I'm having a problem with the noodles. They're still sticking to the bow. All right, everybody, Baron here. So today we're going to be talking about the Italians once again. So we broke this news. What is it? Almost getting close to two weeks ago. You know, a little between one and two weeks ago, we talked about the Italian aircraft <clears throat> finally being added to War Thunder within the ne next patch, right? So. We learned a lot of things, asked a lot of questions, and the community was pretty happy about this. So, I asked about which aircraft you guys were most looking forward to, and the consensus was pretty much the main aircraft that people are looking forward to is the Fiat G91 Jet Fighter Bomber. There was also, you know, a lot of outpouring for the P-108 Bomber, and hopefully the B variant with that big old cannon on the bottom of it, and also the Reggiane 2005, one of the Series 5 fighters, which Italy will be a very, very fun, what would you call it, national treat to play, specifically for those fighters in particularity. So, a lot of aircraft that everybody's looking forward to amongst the community and amongst you guys. You were, there was some disappointment and confusion, like why is, why are the Italians being added and not the French? And there's definitely some weight to that. If you were to look at the Italians and the French, not just in isolation of their aircraft, but also, you know, their ground forces and their, if you were to go to the naval fleets, I, you know, maybe the Italians would have a little bit extra in terms of like total war, whereas the French had a pretty nice fleet at the beginning of the war. But in specific with regards to ground vehicles, I would say that the French had much, much, much better ground vehicles tanks armored vehicles than the Italians did so the but I think that the Italians probably had uh, maybe they might have a slight edge in terms of aircraft right but there's already some decent amount of Italian aircraft in the game and the French I think only have one or two the d520 and d521 there might be two or three others but needless to say Italian aircraft are coming, the French are not. We still will never get that Char... That Char B. Oh my gosh. The tank that I want, arguably, the most to be added to War Thunder. But anyway, so, amongst you guys, there was also this one subtle political dig, but an excellent point nonetheless. Will the Italians be able to change sides or play as the Allies? I mean, think about it politically. At one point, the Italians were fighting with the Axis. At a later time, the Italians were fighting the Axis powers. So, in theory, early war Italians could play as Axis powers, and later Italians could play as Allied powers. But you also got to think about the flexibility that this adds to a nation with regards to the matchmaker. Now, there's already pretty good flexibility in the game. Like, the Germans can play with the Russians, the Germans can play against the... Russians, you know, and the Americans, like they all kind of can switch sides depending on if we're doing Cold War or World War II, so that's kind of already been in the game, but this was a thought I had in the early, early and <clears throat> much simpler days of War Thunder all those years ago, but it does give the Italians flexibility to play on either Axis or Allies time. Um, that could also work for French ground forces, if you think about it. And actually air forces as well, because France was an allied power, and then there was Vichy France, and a lot of vehicles um, were used by the Germans in World War II. So anyway, I also learned from you guys that my Italian pronunciation was okay. Some might say bene. But anyway, what we're looking at right here is the Cant Z. 1007 Al Alcione? Al is it Alcione or Alcione, my Italian compatriots? The Bird of Prey. So when you look at this, it's a beautiful aircraft, and it's very distinctive, and this is going to become a classic, classic trademark of Italian multi-engine aircraft, is that three-engine um, setup, specifically an engine in the nose. I don't know of any other nations that use this, I'm sure there were, but the Italians were renowned for it. It is a beautiful looking aircraft. The Sparvieres, those SM-79s, which back in my flying days when I was your age, uh, 
was one of my it was it was a fun aircraft to take out because it looked so unique and it felt kind of quick you know in those in those early lower tiers for the Germans when the Italians played that way so the Kant Z 1007 BIS I'm gonna say Alcione is and I could be totally wrong is an Italian medium bomber that was used during the Second World War built using the Italians favored Built using the Italian's favorite three-engine design, the aircraft slightly resembles the well-known SM-79 Sparviero. Although the Alcione, oh, look at that, I changed it, surpasses it across a range of flight characteristics. So, it's an Italian medium bomber that saw limited use up to the middle of the Second World War, like its much more famous rival, the SM-79 Sparviero, or Sparrowhawk for those of us English speakers. The Z1007 Kingfisher was based on a three-engine design. So, the history of it, in the game, the bomber will be praised by players for its combat survivability. Three engines are much better than two. Think about that, actually. That's, that's a pretty excellent point. Um, hopefully, there's going to be a lot more situations where you lose an engine and you actually are able to make it back to base to repair and get your crew home, which has never really been a factor for this game. And I always thought it'd be cool to kind of have this kind of like emotional tie to your aircraft crew, right? But in these games, you have to be rewarded for those things. So it, it would be interesting, but that would take some... Anyway, that's a conversation for another day. So it's got solid defensive armament comprising of four machine guns. That would be considered s solid? Interesting. Large caliber Scotti Isota... Frascini <laughs> M1933s mounted on the upper rotating turret and the familiar 12.7 mm Breda SAFATs located under the fuselage on the belly of the aircraft. The bomber's sides are armed with two rifle caliber machine guns, so what would that be? 792s maybe if they're Germans? Offering cover against flanking attacks. The Alcione can carry 1,200 kilogram payload of various caliber bombs, so even the most exacting player will be able to load the aircraft to their liking. What does that mean? The most exacting player. Various caliber bomb payloads, 1,200 kilograms is decent, but by no means, you know, awe-inspiring. In terms of flight characteristics, the Z1007 BIS bomber somewhat transcends the well-known SM79 Sparviero, both in speed and maneuverability, so it is sure to be a popular vehicle. But it's a bomber. And last I checked, bombers and bombing in War Thunder still need some significant work. I remember you know, there was obviously the era where bombers were, quote, OP, and you'd see B-17 bomber formations. Then there was the TU-4, the PE-8. You know, there was always that kind of, oh, bombers are too powerful, and then they just got hit so hard by the Nerf hammer that it's like, who really wants to do it? And those were, you know, I, I'll be honest, I have not played bombers in a while, and when I do... Um, it's usually in a tank RB game, and generally I'll go for something with rockets or a ballistic-based weapon, which goes back to that Italian P-108B bomber armed with a 102mm main gun hanging on the underside of that fuselage. Imagine, and that was designed for shipping, but I would imagine you could kill some tanks. So real quick, just a quick ADD moment for the B-108, kind of to address that. It was really cool and people were like, oh man, that's such a big gun. But at the time it was developed, you know, most ships were at least armed with a decent amount of anti-aircraft armament to the point where like that kind of attack by that size of an aircraft, think about that. You have to line it up and you've got this big, big four engine heavy bomber trying to line up and strafe a ship, you're a big, big target for a lot of anti-aircraft. Now, if they do ships right in the future, and they, they add the P-108B bomber, which by the way, in isolation, would definitely warrant the whole, hey, if we're gonna do boats, and we're just gonna do, you know, ground attacking tanks, the P-108B bomber would definitely be one of the leading arguments to adding the Italians prior to the French, at least in my opinion. So, 
Now, the Z1007 will be added to the game in several variants. There will be the early Z107, Z1007, and the 1007 BIS. BIS, why was that difficult to say? Of the later production series with the twin tail assembly. Ooh, kind of like a B-25. Both aircraft will take their place in the starting ranks of the Italian Aviation Tech Tree and War Thunder Update 1.69 Regia Aeronautica. Keep an eye on your news, blah blah blah. Spaghetti and meatballs coming soon, boys. So I hope you guys are hungry. I love the Sparviero. I will definitely be interested to play this. So this is this is kind of another question. What needs to be done to bombers? Oh my god, that twin tail is so gorgeous. I like that. I definitely like that twin tail. Man, that is that is a beautiful thing. So it's kind of similar to the B-25's tail in that regard. I wonder how that will affect, you know, flight performance. You have two rudders on the rear of that. I hope that if you damage one, you can still use the other one. I'm not sure how detailed the damage model is in War Thunder, but, you know, that would be cool. So Italian aircraft are coming, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday. What are you guys up to this weekend? What games are you playing? Obviously other than War Thunder, and within War Thunder, are you guys playing tanks? Are you playing planes? Are you playing bombers? Are you warming up those Italian fighters in SM-79 Sparavieros? Or is the Maki 202 with those slow-firing 12.7s still want a beautiful aircraft to fly and a fun aircraft to fly, but a kind of struggle bus of an aircraft to shoot enemy planes? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching. Who is excited? And, uh, and which Italian bombers are you guys looking forward to? I mean, I think it goes without saying that the P-108 bomber is kind of like the creme de la creme. What's the Italian version? Man, I'm, I'm waving my hand like an Italian in front of my face, but I don't know the word. The, the, ugh, I want to eat a cannoli and I want spaghetti and meatballs. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Hey, it's Mario and it's a full goal. He's like a shooting, shooting at my plane. That'd be great. Rocky Rock. Good old Rocky Top, last in the SEC. Get him, Burge. Time to die, Get little him. boy. Whoa, Triple A. Get him before the AA gets you. Oh, Beyond, fire back. I can't, I'm out of ammo, bro. D -d just put some potatoes oh. in oh, there. Evaporated, you idiot. Nice, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man, good job. Yay! I got somebody on the tail. I don't enjoy it. The mamas of me, the boss are not ready. <laughs> Deploy the uh, the pasta sauce. I'm having the problems with the noodles. They're still sticking to the bowl. Deploy and smoke, eh? Oh goodness! Oh, oh, no. No. oh no! Hello, Beyond. Shall we have tea party? Very cool. I did not enjoy the crash. There, yes.